Ten Little Rabbits by Virginia Grossman and Sylvia Long For Andrew, Emily, Gretchen, John, and Matthew Text Copyright 1991 Illustrations Copyright 1991 Ten Little Rabbits One Lonely Traveler Riding on the Plain Two graceful dancers asking for some rain. Three busy messengers sending out the news. Four clever trackers looking for some clues. Five wise storytellers trying to keep warm. Six nimble runners fleeing from a storm. Seven merry mischief makers playing hide and seek. Eight patient anglers fishing in a creek. Nine festive drummers beating on a drum. Ten sleepy weavers knowing the day is done. One, Sioux. The Plains tribes depended on buffalo for food, clothing, bedding, and housing materials. They followed the herds, moving camp when the buffalo moved to new grazing areas. Prior to acquiring the horse, these tribes used dogs, travois, to carry wood, food, small children, and the elderly. Although the child in this illustration is pictured alone, she would actually be part of a large group traveling together. Tiwa, two. Traditionally, all Rio Grande Pueblos stage a corn dance, generally in the spring. The dancers wear crimson parrot feathers and cowrie shells from the Pacific and carry gourd rattles. The male dancers leap and stamp to wake up the spirits. Finally, their evergreen finery, symbolic of the fir tree that, according to legend, people used to climb up from the underworld, is thrown in the river in hopes of pleasing the Shiwana, the tri rain cloud people. Ute 3. Plains tribes use smoke signals as a method of long-distance communication. Using a system of short and long puffs, they send messages about such things as the presence of buffalo or the approach of enemies. Minomini. 4. In the Great Lakes region, hunting bear had both practical and symbolic importance. Its fur was used for warmth, its flesh for food, and its fat was used as cooking oil, medicinal salves, and insect repellent. Its claws often made prize ornaments. Blackfoot. 5. Storytellers have always been a respected part of traditional Native American culture. They carried with them the legends, myths, and personal history of the tribe. In the oral tradition, this history had to be passed from one generation to the other by word of math, mouth. Hopi 6. The Hopi lived on the tops of mesas in southwestern areas that had no permanent water courses. Because of this, they farmed in the desert below, where the success of their crops was dependent on rainfall and flash floods. Arapaho 7. Because tribes often had to be mobile in order to survive, it was essential that possessions be kept to a minimum. It seems likely toys and games were not considered a necessity, and so children had to rely on simple games to entertain themselves. Though there is no actual documentation of children playing hide-and-seek, it is possible that such a universal game was indeed played by children, both for entertainment and as a way to improve tracking skills. Nez Pierce, 8. Tribes in the Northwest had no agricultural tradition until the missionaries came. Salmon was a staple food and noted fishery holes were considered the common property of the tribe. They supplemented salmon with trout, sturgeon, deer, elk, and small game. Uh, okay, I'm going to try to pronounce this one the best I can. Quackatool? 
9. The Northwest Coastal Tribes carved decorations on wooden drums, boxes, house posts, partition screens, etc. The masks and costumes in this illustration were from the Coquitul tribe. Navajo, 10. For centuries, Navajo weavers had made beautiful rugs and blankets, both for their own use and for trade. It is said that the traditional patterns simply emerge from the weaver's memories, and that there is always a break within the pattern so the maker's spirit can escape.